Inside Science TV. Why? About 32 billion bottles are bought and sold around the world each year. Each bottle contains about two and a half pounds of grapes. But before you get here, the process starts here, where winemakers work towards creating the perfect blend of aroma, color, and taste. I would say the trickiest part of making wine is getting the flavors right. A big part of getting that right is not only the grapes, but the fermentation of those grapes. Right now we're in the UC Davis Research Winery, and we are looking at the fermentation tanks. These are our production fermentation tanks. Inside these tanks, the yeast converts the sugar in grapes into alcohol. So here we have our, our high-tech monitoring system for all these tanks. You can see here, selecting an individual tank, you can see the volume of the tank, the temperature of the tank. Biochemists monitor the yeast as they battle what seems to be a microbial war. Yeast are these incredible microbial juggernauts. They, are, they suck up all the nutrients, they suck up all the oxygen, they're incredibly dominant in fermentation, and on top of that, they make alcohol, so they're knocking back the growth of everybody. They can just cycle and grow very, very quickly, get a fermentation going, and finish a fermentation very quickly. If all goes well, fermentation can be complete in two to three weeks, but sometimes the yeast lose the battle. As a winemaker, that's not great, because really what you want yeast to do is just get in there, kick butt, and finish the fermentation. A problem that has plagued the wine industry for centuries is when fermentation stops. So one of the big problems for the industry is a stuck fermentation or an arrested fermentation where sugar is left behind. Now, for the first time, yeast geneticist Linda Besson and her team have discovered what triggers stuck fermentation. Researchers learned that an abnormal protein is created in yeast by bacteria in the wine. These proteins can reproduce themselves inside of the yeast, causing the yeast to slow down or stop converting sugar into alcohol. When the yeast stop working, they become stressed and give off a sulfur smell like rotten eggs, clams, and bad vegetables. Excess sugar is left behind, and the wine becomes too sweet. So we think what the yeast are doing is they're taking that signal from the bacteria and slowing their metabolism down slightly, slowing down their uptake of amino acids, slowing down their uptake of, of oxygen, and slowing their fermentative processes a little bit. Now that they know what's causing it, researchers are working to create yeast strains that will ignore the bacteria, not make the protein, and keep on working. The industry simply wants the problem solved. They don't want to have bad sectors of their vineyards that give them lower quality wines. And we can all drink to that. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.